Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, son, TJ, man. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 best competitive Dragon Ball Xenoverse original characters. And we've all seen them, man. We've seen the Gokus, the Gogetas, the Hits and stuff. But today, I'm going to be ranking which I think is the best. Which one from, like, you know, like, top tier to just pure hacks, man. But before that, Metro, play my intro! <laughs> Number 10 for me is Cooler Final Form. The man just hits. Like, oh, like his hitbox is insane. He just works online. If you don't know why you're getting hit with Cooler, just, just fucking deal with it. You got to learn how to counter block and stuff. The reason why I don't have him higher on this list because he lacks a good stamina break combo, at least for me anyway. He has a very powerful ultimate. does a shit ton of damage, but it's not really the fastest one of them. Like, his hitbox is insane, but the thing that holds him back from being higher on his list is that he doesn't really have a dedicated stamina break combo. But if you want a character that you really don't have to think and you just got to spam combos, Final Form Cooler, and pretty much maybe any cooler, but Final Form Cooler is the best one you want to use. And I'm surprised I don't see more of him online. Number 9 for me is Xeno Bardock or Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, or I love to say Fan Service Bardock. He has an easy standard break combo. All he has to do is just push square square, then wait till he elbows the opponent and just do a standard break combo. He has one of the best ultimates in the game. He has Saiyan Spirit that all you gotta do is just unleash it and the person has to do uh, a stamina, like he's gotta do his escape move to even get out of it. Then he has the super key explosion technique that like, you're pretty much fucked, man. Like you gotta be able to read that shit and be ready for it because that does a shit ton of damage. He has Super Saiyan 3. If you do a good combo, then we go Super Saiyan 3, you do a lot more damage. And don't even talk about Riot Javelin, that is like a Hail Mary where you need to be. Just Bardock as a character is fucking fantastic and he's a beast, especially when he has this much stamina and this much health and all those ultimates and supers. He is definitely my number nine on this list. Number 8 is Goku Super Saiyan 4. You're going to be seeing a lot of Goku on this, but this one, he has an awesome stamina break combo that you can do a heavy and regular stamina break combo that's really easy, really good. He does a shit ton of damage. He has the almighty Dragon Fist. You got to make sure to do a stamina break combo and just hit it as soon as you can, man. It does a shit ton of damage. He, they they buffed up his 10 times Kamehameha, which is insane. Like, he, he now can just move the same speed as a regular Kamehameha wave. And then you can do after him strike in combination with the Super Dragon Fist. And he has the Super Kamehameha, which is one of the best ultimates in this game. Because it's so fast and you can, it only costs three key bars. This guy is a beast and that's why I have him above Xeno Bardock. And he is my number eight. Number seven for me is Vegito. And I, if, especially if you have an unlimited battle, when he goes Super Saiyan, he has unlimited key blast. He's like he has Super Saiyan from Xenoverse 1. But he has a shit ton of stamina, great attack. And he has an easy, great back hit that is really good. And his regular just triangle combo does a shit ton of damage. If you want to get an easy win, just stay on the break combo because he has an easy one. Then just keep doing the triangle combo over and over again. You get a, a great amount of damage. Um, he has a great counter where he can counter anything. You just got to make sure to time it well. And all you got to do is just push square triangle and he can do a, a punch, kick down, punch, kick down really strong move his spirit sword has been really nerfed in this game i really wouldn't use that but his final command may if you do it right it does an amazing amount of damage super vegeto is beast you just gotta use him man that's why i have him above super saiyan 4 goku number six is future trunks now this one can be debatable because this guy can be unbelievably strong especially but i'm gonna put him here future trunks he has an easy stamina break combo where his heavy and a normal stamina break combo um his Slash attacks are really good. He has a fast ass back hit. Really amazing stuff. Um, he's just he's just a beast when it comes to combos in general. Like you can do so much amazing stuff with his Masinko is fast, especially if you do a backflip Masinko, amazing stuff. And he has this double Masinko where like if anyone comes at you, you can like spin around and do it. He even has like a, a damage glitch. Like this, like future trunks, especially the Dragon Ball Super one, is a beast. You gotta use him. Check out his combos and he's really up there number five is ultimate gohan this gohan is amazing in his potential unleash is actually useful to use because it doesn't take as long as super saiyan you just if you want to make all your combos safe just use burst rush burst rush works with anything if you get hit from the back it turns around 
just use burst rush for this one you can do amazing combos command may is quick move to use in, in key blast cannon you can do some amazing combos with that and after you do a standard break just do like two super command mayas and your opponent is damn near dead this gohan is amazing he has good recovery with his combos yeah, i just say man like respect this gohan yo <laughs> like he's a beast he's a beast number four is when we go to even more of the hacks gokus this, I, if i really want to use all the gokus i can for this list but today we're going to be using goku black and reason why is because of two fucking moves Aura Slide and the Super Black and Mayhem Mayway. Aura Slide is a, a fucking amazing stamina, uh, just just combo continuation. Because Goku's easy to use stamina break combos. He's like one of the perfect characters. But the reason why this one holds him back because he has low stamina and low health. But do not underestimate him because that Aura Slide is a beast. You can continue combos like almost infinite with that one. Then as soon as you stand a break, just use Super Black and Man May. It only takes three key bars and does more damage than most five key bar ultimates in the game. Like and once, like once uh, Avatar characters can get this move, be ready for some bullshit. This Goku Black is a beast and he's very hard to beat online. And that's why he's my number four on this list. Number three is Hit or Hit Awoken. Hit Awoken because he does more damage and he has more stamina. Hit in general is just almost impossible to beat in this game. He has a fast ass back hit. His his stamina break is easy as shit. His his grab does so much damage. The only thing holding him back is that his ultimate that does five key bars does like no damage. His super moves are not that great except the regular hit where he has sledgehammer. He's just a beast. Like what else can you say? He, his only weakness is his supers and ultimates. But even then, you can do his ultimate without even doing a stamina break combo. Hit is just a beast, and it's a rarity that I ever lose with hit in general. But never use his hit transformation stuff. It's just it's no use, no use in using it whatsoever. Number two is Gogeta, and Gogeta was even more broken before they nerfed um, Punisher Drive. But now that they kind of nerfed it, he's more normal. But he has the most attack power, like melee wise, in the game. No one can fuck with. Gogeta when it comes to melee damage, but sorry that was a text I got, but Gogeta Punisher Drive is amazing to combo with, his super mad dance is awesome too, like he could, you could do so much amazing sound break combos with Gogeta, and like he is just amazing, he has fast recovery, his back hit is really powerful, um, I would hold it down if I was you, but yeah, just learn this guy, like he is almost impossible to beat once you fully master Gogeta, like yeah, just do triangle square, triangle square to fully get the full mastery of this guy. And he all has, and he also has super command Maya. So high damage, three key bars. Gogeta is a fucking beast. Now my number one, he's my favorite character to use, and my favorite and my worst character to fight. Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And if you can pull it off, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. This Goku is damn near perfect. The only weakness he has is his back hit. If you perfect block his back hit. You're pretty much you you own him but the only reason you even win against this goku if the other person beats themselves he has the most stamina in the game the most health he has damn near the highest attack power all his super moves just work super god fist is fucking beautiful kaioken blue you get almost infinite stamina the only thing you can do is just use your escape move over and over again if you lose with this Goku, you should, be, you should just shoot yourself. Like, I don't know what you can do. Like, this Goku is damn near perfect. He is the strongest guy in the game. The only reason you can lose is that if you use up all your stamina, you have stamina broken. That's his only double-edged sword, is that his back hit and his stamina. If you break his stamina, that's how you beat him. But he is pretty much unbeatable. He's my favorite character to use, but everyone uses him. So, hey, if someone chooses this Goku, you better pray that they don't know how to use him well. So yeah, guys, that's my list for the top 10 best competitive Dragon Ball Xenoverse original characters. Let me know y'all guys list. And I got another text, you know, eh, you know how it goes. But yeah, guys, let me know who's y'all's number one. Is it Gogeta? Is it Goku? Is it Hit? Is it Cooler? Because Cooler, he's a beast. I'm not going to lie, but he doesn't have a dedicated stand break combo. Super Saiyan Blue Goku is just amazing. So yeah, guys, um, share this with your friends. Share this with any community you want. And like the video. If you like the video, let's try to get to 10 likes. So yeah, sun to peace. Love you all.